Welcome back to the shop. I wanted to do a really quick update video on this rolling mill that I uh, made a video about a few weeks ago. I have um, a few things to say about it. Uh, mostly bad, but some are good. Um, let's just jump right into it. For those of you who saw my previous video, this will all make sense. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. It's uh, an overview of this rolling mill, where I got it, and how much it was, and all that fun stuff. So, let's get into my experience over the last couple of weeks using it. First and foremost, you can't really roll larger stock. So, um, I've got this ingot mold here, and typically I like to for the larger one because then I can roll more wire at once. However, this doesn't allow you to roll anything that big. It doesn't go up far enough, so I found myself either having to hammer it down, which took forever, or re-melting it and pouring it to the other side to make smaller ones. Not really a big deal going forward. I'll just make the smaller ones until I get the rolling mill that no, I actually want. But that's just something to keep in mind if you decide to go for this mill. You can't roll larger ingots, it has to be a smaller size. Second thing, and I'm going to get some close-up shots of this and I'll just overlay the video. These gears right here, this is on the other side of the handle, they are not finished well at all. Um, I'm going to put um, some close-ups here right now, but as you can see, the, um, the gears where the teeth meet up, they're not like rounded, they're kind of at an angle, and they meet up at an angle, and what that does is uh, makes them get stuck on each other. So when you're at your highest point trying to roll down metal, they don't engage, they actually get stuck. Um, in the previous video, you can actually go back and see, while I'm rolling, the handle's like jumping. And it took me a little bit to realize that it's these gears here. Now that's not a deal breaker for me. What I'm probably going to do is take these off and get my flex shaft and spend an hour or two rounding them out and making them, you know, giving them a little bit of a better finish and hopefully that will solve that issue. So um, again, I'll do another video after I do that, let you know how it goes. But if you're not that kind of person, if you don't like getting into things, taking them apart, if you're not comfortable doing that sort of thing, then that might be a deal breaker for you with this mill. Um, that issue aside, it's been pretty good. Once, I, once you roll down to a certain size, it's actually not bad. Um, it's more effort than the, uh, the Cavalum that I got, but I think that really has to do with the length of the handle. Um, it's a little bit shorter, so you're not going to get as much leverage with, uh, you know, when you're turning. So it does take a little bit more effort, not nearly as much as one without any gear reduction. So this would still be a good mill to start with. Just know it's going to come with those issues. And if you're handy at all, you should be able to do what I'm going to do, which is take these off and try to just give them a better finish. Now, it looks like just two Phillips head screws holding them on. So it really shouldn't be a big deal. It's just going to take maybe an afternoon to get it the way I want it to, polish it up nice and smooth. That way I don't have the issue of things getting stuck. Other than that, guys, that's been the experience so far. Uh, if those things aren't deal breakers for you, I would actually still recommend this, this rolling mill. Um, it's not a deal breaker for me. and. Once I make those adjustments, I think this will serve me just fine until I get the rolling mill I actually want. So I'll put the link in the description below for the previous video. That has the link for the product in the description. You'll be able to get to it from there. Uh, I'm not affiliated with the company in any way, so I don't get any kickbacks. This is a 100% honest feedback, um, and I hope it was helpful. Um, tune back in for the next video. I don't know when it's going to be. Life's a little busy at the moment, but I'm trying to spend more time here and uh, do as many of these videos as I can. I've got a bunch of tools to go over, so I'll probably do a few more tool reviews and, um, you know, hopefully make something at some point soon. 
So that's it for today's video. See you next time.